All right, welcome back to Business Focus, your weekly business and economic analysis program. Uh, so we're going to be doing the mover segment, and my guest tonight is Abena Abedi. She is a managing partner at Sustainable Agro Limited. Um, I have the privilege of, of visiting her, her, um, uh, her farm uh, just a couple of days ago. Abena, good evening and welcome to the program. Good evening. And uh, how are you doing? I'm well. Okay, so... Um, you're managing partner at Sustainable Agro Limited. Uh, first of all, tell us a bit about yourself. <coughs> um, I'm the last born um, of my parents. We are actually five. Um, I have a background in agricultural science from the University of Ghana. Um, I'm currently a managing partner of Sustainable Agro Limited. Yes, that's, that's all I can tell you. Why the choice uh, in study? Um, I knew what I wanted to become right from the word go. So I, I just followed my passion. Mm, I see. And uh, you finished school in what year? Um, hey, will I remember? Um, I think I finished University of Ghana in 2010. In 2010? Yes, I think so. Okay. And ever since, what have you been doing? Um, I actually did my national service in a mining company. Um, from there, I moved to Accra um, as a project officer for a Moringa project. And from there, I started my own farm. Tell us about your own farm. Why the interest in starting up your own farm? Um... Like I said, um, I was moved by, by my passion. So right, even when I was in the university, I started a mango farm, which failed along the line. And so after school, I had the opportunity to do some survey for um, a rice farming community. And I had some kind of interest in rice from there. So I decided to follow it up further. And that's how far I've come. And how much did you require to invest in that farm? Um, okay, so for the beginning, I took money from my family and friends um, and farmed rice for them. I just managed the farm for them. So every proceeds from the farm went back to them. But ideally, at the time, I needed... Um, about 1,200 cities to crop one acre of rice farm at the time. Mm, I see. So how many years have you been doing this? For six years now. Has it been worth your while? Yes, it's been worth my while. Why do you say so? Um, I've had a chance to know better about myself. I've had a chance to explore more. I've had a chance to work at my own pace. Um, I've had a chance to add value to myself. Yes, I've not started counting my money yet, but it's been worth my while. Rice production must be capital intensive. Yes, it is. It is. Um, in the short term, it's capital intensive, but in the long term, it's very lucrative. And what's a gestation, uh, gestation period? Um, from start to finish is um, four months. So right from land preparation to when you harvest and dry, it should be four months or a little less than four months. And you've got workers on the farm? At the moment, um, we don't personally own the farms. At the moment, we do just 2% of our production. We have outgoer groups um, who are doing 90% of the production for us at the moment. Because we, we had land litigation issues um, along the line. And so we decided to opt for um, outgrower group um, farmers who grow for us. So at the moment, they are doing about 90%, 98% mm -hmm. for us, and we do just 2%. Mm -hmm. So what's the cost of production? Um, at the moment, it's area specific. We work um, at the irrigation areas at the moment, and their cost of production is different from working in a rain fed area. Um, but at the moment, our cost of producing an acre, um, let's say at Avalavi, where you came to, is about 2,050 Ghana cities. That's on the average? Yes, that's on the average from start to 
to finish um value addition is not part of that that's just producing the party mm. i'd imagine that one of the major difficulties for uh, rice farmers has been the competition uh, coming in from imports is that really the case um partly but for me i would say it depends on the way you position yourself um as someone in the value chain it depends on the way you position yourself yes we have people important and all of that <coughs> sorry we have so many um brands of rights coming out coming from outside into ghana but it, 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 it largely depends on how you position yourself especially now that Ghanaians are very particular about what they eat mm. so what's your brand um our brand name is called duke and it's spelled d-u-q it simply means fresh taste, good nutrition um the tagline is eat to live and um, our target market is the middle class to upper class who care about their health. Are, are we able to meet the demand, local demand? No. No. Why is that so? Um, because our economies of scale and scope is small. And so... I'm talking generally about rice farmers. No, we can't. We are not able to meet at the moment, but it doesn't mean we don't have the capacity to meet it. Um, What's the challenge? The challenge is about um, having more valleys or more land developed for rice farming, having more robust machines to work on the farm. And what are people saying about your brand? They love it. Um, as a matter of fact, we were blown away. We just outdoored Duke last year, November 13th, and um, we, we quickly ran out of stock somewhere in March. And so you completed school in 2010, and, and you, you thought the need to start your own business. Um, what sort of inspiration are you serving to people out there who look, who look at you? <laughs> um, well, I, I, I guess um, I'm naturally a hard person. I think that's how come I've been able to survive till this point. But I think I inspire most of my colleagues um, because I'm, I'm just following my passion. I'm just following what I believe I can do best. What's your vision for this business that you operate? That in five years to come, we would be the original rice mistress. My partner is, is a female as well. So five years to come, we should be the original rice mistress um, of Ghana. And how are you going to achieve that? Um, by broadening our production base. And so um, we're still looking into the possibility of solving our land litigation issues so that we use that to produce seed to supply to our outgrower farmers and then broadening our outgrower um, farmer groups at the moment. At the moment, we are working with two groups. Um, in total, they are producing 230 hectares um, every year and we produce twice a year so that's um 460 hectares in a year yeah wow so we would have to broaden that production base because in the first year we realized that was last year when we adored this we realized we quickly ran out of stock and so we need to broaden our production base and then make our operations more efficient do you think government has done enough in supporting agriculture, agribusiness? Um, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. I think um, we are paying more lip service than we are working. What more can be done? Um, a call to action. Let's stop paying lip services and let's, let's go down and do the work. For instance, you talk about youth in agri um, and you, you give money to people to go and farm or go into anything agribusiness and you don't follow up on them. How, how are you going to retrieve the money so you can support more people? 
yeah so let's let's stop the lip service and let's get down to business and do the right thing and so five years from now you want to be the rice mistress yes would you also want to expand your scope of business sure I mean, quite apart from rice farming, do you do anything else? Yes, um, we grow vegetables. Um, we have a few other crops like um, cassava. Um, we've started rearing um, some guinea fowls and some local birds as well. Yeah, so in the future, we should look at um, raising animals as well as the crop farming. There are lots of graduates out there who've, who've come out of school and, you know, say they find it difficult to enter into the job market. How do they become like you? <laughs> it's a tough world out there, isn't it? Very tough. <laughs> very, very tough. Um, I, I, I guess they should stop losing hope. A lot of people have lost hope. People I, I completed school with are still at home, sitting down there and saying they are looking for jobs. But jobs will never come. So they should start doing something. They should start doing something on their own. Not many people would want to do what I do. Why? Because they don't want to get their hands dirty. I saw you on the farm. Yes. I'm not sure. When you're gear. Exactly. Going about. Yes. So, how many people would want to do what I do? We all want to sit in the offices, blowing air condition. So, is it wrong to blow air condition? Oh no, it's it's not wrong, but um, it's a tough world out there. So, if you want to sit down and think manna will fall from heaven, I don't know when that is going to happen. Do you require some more capital for expansion, drive? Yes, we do. Equity investments? Yes, we do. You don't mind anybody taking up equities in your business? No, no. It's, it's better to have um, a quarter of a lot than to have so much with nothing. Yes, so... So how much are you willing to give away? How much of investment do you need? Um, at the moment, we would need about... Um, Five hundred thousand Ghana cities to move to the next level. Five hundred thousand Ghana cities. Yes, to move okay. to the next level. What would that be used for? Would use that to purchase um, more robust combined harvesters, um, get more dryers, or get. It's not very some mechanical dryers. at the moment, is it? No, 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 no. So, if you want to be efficient, then we need to invest in machineries. So you're going to use that 500,000 cities to invest a lot more in your equipment? Yes. What else? In marketing? Yes, in marketing as well. All right. Thank you very much, Abna Abedi. Uh, Abna is the managing partner at Sustainable Agro Limited. And um, she's into rice production. And she does other things quite, from, uh, quite apart from rice production. But that's, that's a major thing she's into now. Uh, she's got this big brand, Duke, D-U-Q. And uh, she's doing quite well uh, in business. Abana, thank you very much for your time. And I'm sure five years uh, from now, uh, you hopefully will become the queen, uh, the, the rice mistress. The rice mistress. Uh, 